Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnlock.com. Guys, today I'm going to take you out of the lab. We're going to go out in the field and I'm going to show you how I balance some batteries at a solar install. Well, the solar system was already installed. It was using lead acid batteries. And last year, my buddy wanted to, the, the batteries were getting really tired. So we wanted to replace them with lithiums. So he bought two different types of batteries. Uh, 300 amp hours and 100 amp hours because that's what would fit in the box I'll show you and then we had to put insulation around it so and then some insulation goes on top so in the winter time they would stay warm okay we ended up putting some heater blankets in it later in the year but there's two 300 amp hour batteries in series two 12 volts so we get 24 volts then we got two smaller 100 amp hour batteries put those in series we get 24 volts so then you take the two small 24 volts put them in parallel with the two large 24 volt batteries so so then we end up with 300 amp hours plus 100 amp hours we got 400 amp, amp hours with 24 volts so the trick is is the batteries just have to be balanced and we balanced them uh, pretty well before when we installed them but what happened was the inverter his inverter is not just a strict inverter it's kind of a controller so it has a generator input and the big generators behind us you know you'll see it and then there's the box with the inverter above it and the box with the batteries so the inverter uh, it'll take the power from the generator and charge the batteries okay but also there's a, an MPPT on the wall and it's taking current from solar panels and it's running down into the box and it's also charging the batteries. So the batteries can get charged by both if the generator's running. Okay, so what happened was he was up there running, you know, working during the winter, cold months before the winter started actually because it totally gets snowed in during the winter. But just before the big snowfalls came, he was up there, they got heaters running, everything's running. And what happened is that inverter allowed the batteries to get discharged too low, just a little bit too low. A little bit, you know, lead acid batteries would go a little bit lower than the than what we want the lithium ion batteries to get discharged to. Because if they get discharged too low, then when you start to charge, they get out of balance and then they go wacko. And that's what happened. So we're gonna go up there. We did this last year and we and we balanced them so this is a video showing what we did okay all right guys we had an imbalance problem because we think the inverter up here uh let it run too long uh, too low voltage so one voltage is charged up higher than the other one or one battery is charged up higher uh this one's charged up about 12 this one's about eight so we're going to charge this guy and balance them and same thing with those two batteries down there all right, guys, so we got the Redodo 20 amp charger for lithium iron phosphate. And look at that, thank you. And here is the unit. I've plugged in the power cord, got everything going on there. Here's the reading. Reading is some power and do some charging. All right, guys, we're gonna use our PV meter. All right, guys, so this guy looks like he's charging 11.7 uh, volts. Not sure how much current. And terminal's right down here, so we're charging this battery. It was at 8.4, and that one was at 12 volts. And same over here. This is right around 8.42 and right around 11 volts there. So we're charging that cell, that battery, okay? And he's getting charged by the Redodo. Red dodo, and it's got a solid red light, which means that it is in charge mode. Solid green means it's waiting. That's what it was before I hooked it up. And then fully charged is when we're gonna get uh, green on again. So there we go. And we got 19 amps charging in there. So nice KPS meter. And we have only 0.18 amps, not very much, right? 
seems kind of like on the low side. All right, guys, we have the Speed Charge SG-1200A, and it's by Shoemaker. I'm not sure, but it says it's charging, right? When you first start this thing, you might be thrown off, so you got to turn on these lights. So we're in standard mode, and we're in 12 amp. And after you switch it, so it'll turn off, and then you switch it, it goes 3 amp, and it waits a moment, and you'll hear a click. And it clicks and turns on. Sorry about the display. This is solid 12 volts. And then we're going to go to 12. So it'll go up to 12 amps, okay? And then this display stays on. Right now it says 12 volts, but it'll eventually time out. I think it saves uh, juice, I guess. So then we'll take our KPS meter, turn it on to current, turn on the backlight here, okay? And then we come on here, and there's the current right there, 1.48 amps. So it kind of changes around. I, I, here, let me take it off and zero this out. Okay, I zeroed it out. And 1.43 amps. So, yeah, it, it kind of ramps up slowly, I think, because it got up to 5 or 6 amps at one point. So I'll come back to that in a minute. But come over here just to see if everything's working. Yeah, it's working. Almost 19 amps. Alright guys, let's turn on... Uh-oh. Door's closing on me. Uh, here. Hey, look. Nice flashlight. KPS meter. And there we go. We're, we're now charging at about 6.19 amps. So, that's awesome. Just took a moment for it to come up. Oh. And let's see, I can hit hold and show you like that too. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So these two batteries are getting topped off. They're both about 13, you know, we're trying to bring them up to about 13.1, 13.2. And same with the two big guys. So I moved the big um, Redodo over on the big batteries to get it charged faster because it's almost 20 amps and this guy six amps is doing a great job on the little battery batteries so once we get them all balanced we'll hook them back up together and oh we got the cover off we had to switch this charger from a four stage to just a two stage so the solar boost we're going to go back to two stage so uh, that's better for lithium. We don't need all those stages. And there we go. Then we have our disconnect. Uh, so the battery cables come up. If you didn't see the last video, uh, the cables for the solar panels come up here. The battery cables come down here to charge. And then they t they all kind of get lumped together like the right here. We got the battery cable, the charge cable, and and then this big cable. And that cable comes up around here. The plus stops to go through this uh, over current module, this DC disconnect. And the minus just comes across and they come up to this side of the panel. And then we have our inverter, which we're going to have to program also for the lithiums, reprogram. Uh, the problem was, this is where the problem started, is this guy let them discharge too low. And once they got too low, they got out of balance. So that was a mistake we made. And the mistake was, is when we removed battery power from this, it went to factory defaults instead of the settings we saw before we did that. Didn't realize that's what was happening. So that was our mistake, too big of a hurry. And then we come through this guy, which generator through inverter. And then this one is just generator direct to cabin. So that's just a, you know, which way works at the time, depending on how you have things hooked up and these are the breakers for the house okay for the actual cabin so there's our setup there's the big old generator okay there's the uh it's lead acid battery still a lead acid that thing still has to be maintained this generator so 
that's it set up. And by the way, um, the power comes up through here, and there's your generator disconnect. Okay, so there's some more of the wiring right there. And our window for low airflow, some more vents here. And the generator, of course, has, uh, you know, has radiator and the vents right there. So let's come out here and I'll show you the generators. So we have these two Hondas supplying power for our chargers. Because without batteries working, we got problems. And there's our solar panels right over there. There's uh, six panels, 175 watts each. So here, let me just kind of show you. There's another cabin over this way. And this is all his land all the way down, down the bottom of this canyon right here. So uh, there's a beaver pond right down here and some water that runs down that we could use that for energy if we needed to. But there's the back of the cabin and there's the hillside. So 360 view, back into the shed. I brought all kinds of equipment just in case I needed it. There's the exhaust output. So just kind of give you a big picture view of the system. There it is. So guys, yeah, I I didn't realize this thing, the manual for this is quite large. And when it went to factory defaults, it wasn't good for lithium batteries. It let the inverter run too long. It drained these guys down too low. Those guys right down there. So once we got drained down too low, they went out of balance. So once we get them hooked up, It'll run the rest of the day today. We're gonna, he's out there cooking steaks for us. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we'll check on the system, make sure everything's looking good. There's some voltage levels for charging. We can set up here in this charger, but also this, this inverter also has a charger from the generator. And so that is the thing that we didn't set up properly last time. This guy was okay. But we're going to set from four stage to two stage. Same with this guy. So we'll get it hooked up this time. So we're just a little bit too big of a rush last time. Didn't go through all the setups. And all right. Hope you guys like this. Let me know. Thumbs up video. Not as hot this time. The deer flies, horse flies, whatever they were, not, as, not near as bad. They're almost non-existent this time. Uh, yeah, so that was awesome. All right, guys. All right, so this weekend we went up there. I measured the batteries. They're still balanced. So through the whole winter and everything, things were looking good. But there is one more th video I got to show you where we installed a Redodo. I think it's Red Odo. Um, MPPT. We replaced the old one that he had up there with a 40 amp red dodo so next video i show you on this cap I'll, I'll try to put that out real quick okay but that video i'll try to put it out tomorrow actually that video will show you where we installed the red dodo okay and in this video hey here it is right here here it is right here this guy was the star of the show in this video so yeah 20 amp charger this thing worked great. Didn't get real hot or anything. And uh, has a nice clamp on. So, yeah, this guy worked great. So, balance the cells and everything. There's another video where we had to go replace his MPPT. Because, you know, the Redodo, just uh, more updated MPPT. And it's been doing great. So, that was a great install. I'll show you that next video. Okay? Give it a thumbs up. Oh, in the previous video where we installed the batteries. I'll link that in this video too. So you can watch that if you haven't seen it. So appreciate it guys. I like doing this solar stuff. It's really fun. And yeah, you know, learn a lot, especially when you're trying to install um, lithium batteries in place of lead acid and realizing 
how I've got to, especially with a system like that, where he has that trace uh, engineering, I think it's called that. Uh, so it's a big inverter. And that's one thing that's still in the system. So with the Redotto and and uh, the charging system we have there, seems like everything's working great. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Two big thumbs up to my patrons and my YouTube members and Danny for being a team member. Appreciate you guys. And you guys that hit that super like button. Really appreciate that. Uh, thanks so much. And you can become a member. The links are down below. Appreciate it. Uh, catch you next time.